analog oscillators, now let's have a look at the digital oscillators. First of all, you can certainly turn up the digital oscillators no matter what over here in the mixer section. And I don't know if you noticed this in the last video, but as you affect the mixer section over here in your OLED window, you can actually see the settings that you're engaging in. So you can have a sense of what level something as is at at a glance, which is really helpful. So if we want to hear our digital oscillators, all we have to do is turn them up in the mixer. And we're hearing a uh, sawtooth again, which sounds very much like the analog oscillators, but of course this is digital. Um, if we would like to modify these oscillators, it's pretty simple. All you have to do is remember the five buttons to push to access, I'm just joking. <laughs> if you wanna get to the manipulation of the functionality of the digital oscillators, all you have to do is press this button marked appropriately digital. Okay, now we are looking at the settings for the digital oscillators and our oscillator one is set to a sawtooth. Now, all of the functionality that you saw, a lot of the functionality that you saw in the analog oscillators, you also have in the digital oscillators. So if you want to create a pad out of all sawtooths, you can set the digitals to the sawtooth and the analogs to the sawtooth, and then you've got six sawtooths you're working with. So that's really helpful. Um, we will, however, listen to these waveforms. They're probably slightly different, but uh, let's have a listen. That was our saw. Let's listen to our square. Very nice. Square sounding square. Triangle. Our triangle and sign. So very nice sounding. And of course we have uh, the range that we can manipulate octave range as well. We have the topping off in the digital oscillators as well, but it gets pretty high up there. And of course you can do all of the same oscillator mixing together that you did with the analog oscillators. So yeah, you can just uh, set those different oscillators to whatever you want them to be, and uh, they will do your bidding. Okay, so that is the simple and fun part of the digital oscillators. Uh, let's keep in mind several things, like if we are on the square wave, We don't have pulse width change. So the digital square wave stays the same. Also, we don't have oscillator modulation on the digital oscillators. So that's something to keep in mind. We certainly do have fine tuning though. So if you want to create detuning, you can do that. So that's a nice thing if you want to sort of loosen up your digital oscillators so they sound a little more human. Um, I don't know why I used human as an adjective there, but uh, yeah, you can definitely detune the digital oscillators as well. But the really cool thing about the digital oscillators, apart from their convenience in regards to the analog oscillators, is their wavetable function. So let's head there. All you have to do is go up to your wave, and you may have seen it this happening early on, press it enough times that all of the lights light up in that oscillator section. Now, all three of these oscillators are in wavetable mode. 
and they'll play the wavetable that you can set, and I'll show you where to set it here in a minute, but let's listen to it. <laughs> That's a nice, interesting sound. Um, we can also have, of course, all three oscillators playing it at once. With detuning. That's only one wavetable of maybe 20, by the way. Uh, and then the fun part comes in this little knob right here, which is your wavetable modulation. You can modulate the wavetable. When you turn this knob, you can see what's happening to the waveform over here in the window. And you can listen to it by playing it. So you can get some really, really cool sounds. Um, obviously, well, not obviously, but I'm going to tell you right now, if you want to, you can modulate this wavetable knob using any combination or individual or combination of the various envelopes and LFOs. So you can get some really cool modulation of this knob resulting in really complex digital wave shapes that are really interesting, that sound really, really good stacked over the analog ones. <laughs> So that's really awesome. <laughs> Let's listen to this. So now you have two knobs to dive for. You can dive for the filter cutoff knob or the wavetable knob and get some pretty interesting timbral variation that I think is desirable. Okay, um, let's real quick. Now, I'm going to divide this up into a variety of sections. So we're gonna usually talk about everything that's going on over here by itself. But since you access the wavetables over here, we're just gonna go for it. Yeah. 